Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and today we're going to be playing Besieged, and, uh, or Besiege, so that does have a D in it, and, um, we're going to be doing some testing. Uh, also I have some other things that I've created that I want to show you. Um, so the first thing we're going to be doing is testing explosives against these walls, four walls, um, and, uh, see how they do. So... First explosive that we're going to be doing is the um, the remote grenade. So this should be the smallest. Has uh, only 100 power compared to the others, which this is um, imaginable. <laughs> it's, it has so much power. We're also going to do the rocket which has an explosive um, component to it. We're going to check both the cannon and the shrapnel, uh, shrapnel cannon. And um, we'll also try steam against it as well. So let's go ahead and start off with the grenade. We're going to go ahead and uh, do it in five um, speed and press K. And any second it should explode. All right, that's that's good. That did what it that did what I wanted it to, and um, we should go ahead and just speed it up a little bit, just till the dust clears, and we'll go back down to five. All right, so we see that this separated right here, which is kind of expected, and it had um, it had fracturing. So this is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. So five by three. We don't count the foundation because the foundation is actually strapped to the ground. Um, so we don't count it at all. Though if you wanted to consider it, uh, if we raised this. Um, so let's go ahead and stop this. If we took that off and we separated that that put a beam going across here I'm sorry <coughs> um, and then we raise the beam the center beam up to here would this be damaged down here so let's go ahead and try it out all right and here we go press K Wow, so it would have done um, essentially one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four, five, six. Because we don't, again, we don't count uh, foundation, which is the center. Actually, we'll go ahead and say seven. So it's a five by seven that that creates. That's good to know. Um, but let's go ahead and continue on and go back down here and we'll go to our rocket. Now our rocket has something that's a little bit different. First off, we have to strap it to the ground and it has a variable, um, power, um, powder charge, meaning that if I go, um, if I use this tool and click on it, I can change the amount of explosive power. We can be down to zero, which I'll just do that real quick. And once that stops, that's when uh, the explosive would have gone off. Uh, that's going for much further than... Yeah, so there's that. So I say... Let's go ahead and test it at um, one because that's where the grenade starts at and see if it matches because it should match. Um, and we need to pin this down so it doesn't move. Just make sure that I uh, reduce the flight time and the, yep, that's reduced. All right, here we go. <laughs> 
<laughs> the anticipation. That is odd. That's the same power amount as the grenade, but it's doing a whole lot more. Um, as we can see here, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine by four. So maximum. It's maximum. We only have two rows that are untouched, and that's only off the first wall. The second wall is, um, it looks like five by the whole stack, five by four. So that, uh, did it touch the third one at all? Nope, it didn't touch the third one. But wow, <laughs> okay, that's at, that's at one. So let's see if we can test it, if we can get it to the same power as the grenade. So I'm gonna go ahead and do 75 next. 0.75 the waiting game actually we can actually speed this up <laughs> because all we're doing is testing okay that is similar we lowered the power charge so let's go ahead and Lower it even further down to 50. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, the powder charge doesn't matter. Let's go down to 25. Really? 10. Still, 9 by 4 plus 5 by 4. What in the world is going on? What if I do maximum 150? Is it going to do anything different? I'm only seeing these first two move. And it's a similar pattern. So it, it, to me, that's not going to change. So let's go ahead and say we're done with that one. Um, the rocket is definitely better than the grenade as far as that goes. Um, let's go ahead and add one of these on. And we're going to go ahead and do cannons next. And then we'll end with the big finale. <laughs> Alright. So cannon number one. This is a, actually before we get into that. Let's check this. Power can be increased. So let's go ahead and slow this down. It's about 15. There we go. And. Okay. So that did not do anything. Let's go ahead and edit it. That can go to 2. So let's try 150. 150. Okay, it was enough to break that off. What if we pin that down? Does that mean that it would have enough propulsion to um, to do damage to this? It does. It breaks through the first one. It may be not be very visible, but when that flexes back, you can definitely see where it broke right there. Where's the cannonball at? Not seeing it. It must be stuck in the wood. But it didn't go to the second one, I don't believe. The only other way to check is by going under here. And I'm not seeing anything. So, let's go ahead and increase the power by... Uh, power to two. Let's see what that does. All right. And cannon time. What? 
Wait a minute. How did that do nothing and 150 did something? Just double check it. That's two. <sighs> All right, I have another option for this just to make sure that it gets the ability to move. Um, we'll put one of these down. Actually, let's get rid of that and that. Put one of these down. And then we'll put the springs on here. We'll tighten up the spring. Strength. We'll do it about three. Copy. Put the cannon on that. Change it to power of three or two. See if that does anything. Okay, it doesn't. All right. Uh, let's try one more time with L held. Okay, L. And then C. Yeah, it's not doing any damage at two. So let's go ahead and move to the next one. Which is the... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Which is the shrapnel cannon. Put that right there. See if it's modifiable. I like, nope, it's not modifiable at home. So let's go ahead and try it. Okay, it definitely breaks the uh, wood right in front of it. But I'm not seeing that it did anything to the second row. Alright. So we have just two more. Two more and we're done here. Delete those. Bring out this. Actually, we may have to go one more. And we'll put... Um, this down. Oh, we can put it right up against that. All right. So what this is is um, this is going to be steam. We're going to see if this does any damage to to this setup. So we're going to go ahead and press um, Y, and steam is not penetrating past the first wall. I'm going to give it one two seconds press y again and i'm not seeing anything all right time for the big dog then let's go ahead and get the bomb put it there see if this will start it nope oh it did <laughs> All right, so it completely broke the first one off. <clears throat> the second row is on fire. The third and fourth is on fire. Let's do that one more time, a whole lot slower, and then we'll go ahead and end out the video with my last fun toy. All right, so here we go. I'm going to make sure that this is nice and slow so we can actually see it. When it goes off, we'll try to get 1%. There we go. Now we just need this to blow up. Because I want to see the initial shock. Because there's two shock waves on this. Wow, it's taking way too long. Alright. Oh. Let's go. There we go. We're stopping. All right, first thing we're seeing is that it's absolutely ripping the first one apart. The second one is ripping apart as well. Um, this is this uh, wall is a a good 
uh, a greatly built wall. This is a poorly built wall, and I wanted to try different wall types. But um, yeah, you can see how this has no connection to each one of these. So this one is moving all over the place where this one is holding together. It's just breaking at the uh, the bonds. Um, not seeing any damage to the third one. But one thing that's really neat to see is that this creates so much damage initially that it doesn't even have a chance to fracture. It just blows it apart and then catches everything on fire because we'll see here that as soon as that fire touches, everything is going to be on fire. When that fireball goes away, everything is now on fire. And this is why you really can't do much testing with that fireball. But you can definitely see it went three layers deep. It will catch four here because of that bar that's going in between this one and this uh, wall and this wall. But I mean, that's a massive shock wave. That's a. <laughs> but anyway, this is um this is one of those crazy, crazy um things that I have. And um, I definitely wanted to show it off. So let me go ahead and save it. And I'm going to just name it the walls. The walls. Because if there's other um, charges that they add to the game, definitely want to be able to show those off. All right. So I hope I didn't already show this. <laughs> if I did, I will edit it out. This is the sling. This is a centrifugal force driven um, slingshot catapult type thing that normally it would be inverted. So it would be going up and down instead of left and right. And yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Alright, so I would definitely want to show you this contraption here. So what this does is um, it has two winches that are attached to a weight. That weight has uh, this disconnector on it and it is connected to a um, to a warhead. And what we're going to do is swing this warhead around as fast as we can and throw it against a wall. <laughs> Um, just to make sure you can see that this is not in invincible mode or any other mode So this can run without those We are going to go ahead and start it out on a hundred percent Because we need to get the thing spinning um, Up to maximum before we can do anything with it So as soon as I press space to start it I need to start it turning so that the bomb doesn't slam against the base and uh, and blow up. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and press in. What this is doing is it's pulling that really tight into that square. And now I'm going to go ahead and start pressing M. And you should see that it speeds up. And I think that's going to be perfect right there. Press F. And I'm going to go ahead and slow this down all the way down to about 10. And then hopefully I'll get this correct. Nope. <laughs> um, if only it would blow up on that tree. But it didn't. Alright, so let's do that again. Go 100%. Bring it in, let it go out, and this time we're going to go ahead and use itself as a tool. And now we'll go ahead and slow this down again. That's actually perfect right there. And as soon as that crosses over that line, I'm going to let go. All 
All right. So it should be separating, but it looks like it may have been separated too far. Should have separated earlier, I guess. Um, because I think it's going to go to the right. Yes. But it was enough to do damage to it. <laughs> Does take a lot of practice. Um, that is definitely for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and get this lined up now. And we're going to go ahead and go back to full speed. N, M. I'm not worried about it. I'm not paying attention to that. Press. Um, bring this down all the way. Down a little bit slower. About four. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to let this thing go before it uh, burns up because it's attached to a wheel that powers it. Looks like it's falling in a straight path. Let's see. Let's check it's. Yeah, it's definitely falling. It lost a whole lot of speed because of the fact that um, <laughs> that caught on fire and blew up. But it was a hit, direct hit, and that is my slang, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.